each one of you. In today's discussion, we will be presenting the prologue of the novel illustrated by Miguel Sihuko. But before we proceed to his work, let us first know the author. So, Miguel Agosto Gabriel Halbuena Sihuko has written many of the world's most respected publications and made written publications about the Philippines that mainly showcase the Philippine culture and politics. In 2000, he completed his bachelor degree from Ateneo de Manila University with a degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature. Aside from that, Dr. Sihuko pursued his terminal degree of or Master's in Fine Arts at Columbia University. Currently, Dr. Sihuko plays different roles such as journalist, panelist, fact-checker, and writing partner at some of well-known universities around the world. Dr. Sihuko's novel, Illustrado, made a great impact in the literature history where it has been awarded as the New York Times Notable Book of the Year. Together with that award, Sihuko also claims both the Man Asian Literary Prize and the Grand Prize at the Palanca Awards, where his novel, Illustrado, has been able to be translated into 16 languages. Moreover, Dr. Sihuko shares that his novel, Illustrado, is a book that had many distinct goals and one of those goals is to let the people see the perspective of a man from the elite and showcase it together with the Filipino tradition and culture with the mix of the Philippines' history. The book Illustrado, which means erudite or learn in Spanish, is the key term to describe the educated, middle-class Filipinos who had the opportunity to be educated in Spanish and exposed to European culture in the late 19th century. It took Dr. Sihuko spent approximately four years working for this masterpiece and when he submitted the manuscript, the next thing he knew, he was ended up winning several awards and opportunities. Now, for the prologue of the story, Illustrato is experimental in form with sections told by a third-person narrator who almost becomes Salvador himself and the narration in the voice of Miguel. It provides a summary of the life of his mentor and former professor Crispin Salvador. Salvador was a well-known Filipino author who left the country in 1972. He was recently discovered dead in New York City. He was a teacher at Columbia University and Miguel is still persuaded that he was murdered despite the fact that his death was ruled a suicide. Now, Miguel sets out to learn more about his mentor's passing and write about his life and work. A single page of Salvador's manuscript that mentions a number of names is his first clue, and these names include prominent members of political clans in the Philippines. He travels to Manila to meet with these people and learns a lot about the bribery and dirty little secrets that politicians were up to. Illustrado not only provides an introduction to the politics and history of the Philippines, but it also examines the author's life and the difficulties that political artists everywhere face. Just like how the New York Times labeled it, it is punctuated with serious philosophical musings, spies with surprises, and even with appropriately funny moments which makes it more exciting to read.